We're happy to be here at CES 2024 to share the story behind Level 2 Autonomy in Trucking with our partners at PLUS. My name is Ashley, I sit on Luminar's communications team, and I'll be moderating this fireside chat. Join me in welcoming to the stage Luminar's Global Head of Commercial Vehicles Business Development, Lori Reiner, oh sorry, Heino Royer, and Wiley Deck, Vice President of Government Affairs and Public Policy at PLUS. Welcome to the stage, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So, Lumin let's just jump in. Um, Luminar established our first trucking partnership with Plus. Can you tell us a little bit about how that relationship developed, and why truck and why Plus was selected as our first level two trucking partner? Yeah. So I'll start with that. So we know Plus is in the market in a level two ADAS, a much more advanced level two plus system. And we believe that safety should come today. It's not just waiting for when we take the driver out. We can add incremental safety today and make it possible for everyone to be in a good environment. And so PLUS is really focused in that area. And so that's where we want to start because we can make the biggest impact today while we still work with others in that level four space. And then Wiley, tell me about like why you selected Luminar. Well, it was really an easy choice. Uh, as we, as we looked around at uh, what's available out there on the market and uh, looked at what we needed to make sure that our system, our plus drive system, operates in the, in the safest manner possible, Luminar was, was at the top of the list because of their quality, the ability to scale uh, their, uh, your, your LiDAR and available to make our system even safer than it is today. Great. Awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about the regulatory and legal differences for level two autonomous trucking versus level four? Well, that, that's the great thing about uh, the high autonomy level two. And level two is kind of interesting because it's the only SAE level uh, for automation that uh, has a broad range of flexibility. Once you get into levels three, four, and five, it becomes more constrained. The benefits for level two is that you can operate anywhere in the country at a high level of automation, but keep the driver engaged. Once you reach level three, four, and five, you've now triggered every state regulatory restrictions. Uh, some states you can't even operate uh, level three, four, or five truck uh, in that state. Other states are very permissive. Other states you have to have law enforcement uh, that you have to pay for follow your vehicle around. That's after you've paid a $5,000 permit fee per truck. So it gets a little complicated uh, once you reach those uh, three, four, and five levels. So as we put these level two systems on the road, it's educating our level four system that uh, we're developing, but also improving uh, the level two operations as well. And like you said, this is commercially available, so it's in operation today all around the country in all sorts of weather conditions. And having the uh, LiDAR systems on it uh, improves the, uh, the safety of operation of those vehicles. Right. So I think when we look at autonomous today, we, we typically talk about a driver out situation. And it, it's going to be a while before that becomes the mainstream. Um, we're definitely working towards that path, but we're not there today. And the important part about the level two is that there's a lot you can do to reduce the fatigue of the driver today. So driving a truck is not an easy job. The, the lanes are designed to hold passenger cars, not necessarily the trucks, and we have to share them. And then you don't think about the wind. Sometimes you feel your car move a little bit because you're in a gusty wind. Imagine having that trailer behind you and what it takes to keep that trailer in the lane. And so the technology of putting all this on vehicles today, we're improving the drivers and the safety of everyone out there today, as well as we're learning what to do more and how to get better data as we train for the level four. Right, I think we've been really clear on our mission of like now we're enhancing the driver versus removing. So I think that kind of falls in line with that level two goal in the near future. Well, and if you look at the industry as it is, uh, if you had, let's just say 10,000 level four class eight trucks, those are the tractor trailers that you see on the road uh, today. 10,000 sounds like a lot, 
but when you look at this grand scheme of everything, uh, there are over four million Class 8 trucks on the road today. Four million. So 10,000 is a lot, but it, in the scope of everything, it's, it's not a large number. So how do we utilize the technology that we have today with LiDAR and uh, our highly uh, automated uh, driver assist assistance system? How do we get that out into the market to benefit those that aren't going to be level four drive route uh, systems and ensure that we increase the safety and the safe operation of those vehicles because every year you see more and more the, the, the truck fatalities go up. Mm -hmm. uh, we're over uh, 5,100 fatalities uh, for last year. So uh, anything that we can do uh, to make that driver's job safer, better, and easier, uh, I think we should move in that direction. So can you tell me um, what specific safety features are unlocked by adding our LiDAR to your trucks that other sensors and cameras aren't able to provide? Well, I, I'm not going to get into the secret sauce on <laughs> uh, everything on that, but uh, LiDAR adds a tremendous dimension of measurement of where everything is around the vehicle, uh, whether it's a truck or a car, and uh, the, the uh, quality that we get from Luminar LiDARs is, is phenomenal. So we're able to measure out to the, you know, to the millimeter how far our truck is from the vehicles around it, which inform the truck uh, on how to behave and where they need to move uh, in relation to uh, those, uh, those vehicles and how to uh, kind of balance that out because uh, uh, it adds that extra layer of uh, safety uh, that you don't get from just the other sensors. And maybe I'll add a little bit to that. So the FMCSA calls for around 200 meters for a truck traveling fully loaded to be able to stop. And our LiDAR has 250 meters um, ability, so we can definitely see out there far enough to be able to stop the vehicle and give those instructions back at, rel at highway speeds. And so that's really where the LiDAR comes in. I think that the other sensors are um, they're building and all working together, but that's really getting the truck to be able to stop and see what's in front of you at speed. Yeah, you get a better depth <laughs> dimension from LiDAR that you don't get from the cameras and the radar. That's our tech. <laughs> All right, so I think we're at time. I just want to thank you both for your time today, sharing your expertise, and just asking if you have any final remarks for our attendees. You want to go first or? Could okay, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, I, I think uh, the, as these systems develop, uh, just keep an eye on it, because uh, the, the benefits that we get from the highly automated driver assistance systems coupled with the benefits from having LiDAR on that gives you that trifecta of safety uh, that we're not getting in, in cars and, and trucks today. And I, it's an exciting time to be in the industry to see these developments and changes that are going on. And I, I'm, I'm happy that we're partnered with Luminar, a leader in the industry, and uh, it's, it's great days looking forward. Thanks. Um, I'm gonna say that I'm super thankful that I work for a company like Luminar where we're focused on safety. And when we bring safety to the road and we bring it to the heavy duty vehicles, which is where my focus is, we're actually bringing safety to everyone because it's everyone is sharing the road, whether it's your, in your passenger car or it's somebody earning a living by driving your, the goods that you get in that vehicle. We're, we're protecting everyone out there every time we sell one more of our product to bring safety to everyone. Nothing makes me happier, nothing helps me drive and get up every morning to go to work than to know that this safety is coming because of what I do. Of course, and we thank you both for your efforts in making it safer for everyone. Great. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. Thanks.